hello filming from a di different angle today just thought i would give it a go it's a bit of an easier setup for me so please tell me what you think um yeah so i'm working on some de la roni mixed media paper that i've recently just bought and i i just thought i would have a little bit of a play around and do a quick speed paint for a video and so i found a reference photo of a male lion um, and I just thought it'd be quite nice. It's, I made um, a bit of a landscape book using my mixed media paper so it's kind of good for, you know, I thought I'd do it as a watercolour landscape book um, sort of thing and yeah so this is just what I basically did. I used my Cotman watercolours by Winsor & Newton, I used the tubes predominantly and a little bit of the half pans um, just when I needed it so I did a quick wet on wet background just did a quick wash with water and then just um, dabbed in a little bit of two different greens I think it was the hookers green and a sap green just to create that kind of mottled um, background and then for the lion I did a quick sketch of him and just basically worked from light to dark with the colors so I did washes using um what's it called um gamboge gambo tell me if you're not saying that right gamboge yellow um, a bit of cadmium yellow um a little bit do you know just not I, didn't, I don't even think i put white into it no i just really watered it down to create different um uh, hues of it basically um yes so that's basically what i did and then i used I mixed a natural brown use, using ultramarine, uh, what's it called, alizarin crimson and the gamboge yellow just to create this natural brown which you're seeing me using for these darker areas and then I just filled in where the dark patches are like the eyes, the inner ear, the nose and the mouth area and then I kind of used a mix of the yellowy colour that I did for the main part of main part. <laughs> Um, of the lion and mix that with that natural brown I made just to create different shades um, that I could use. Here I was just I was just lightening slightly with some white um, because I'm using watercolor white. It wasn't opaque like a like a um, what do you call it? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, it's a kind of a transparent white, which was good. I was just kind of um, trying to highlight. And then again, I just used that mix of the natural brown and the yellow just to create a darker one. And then I used my big brushes to do very wishy-washy lines to create those effects of darker parts of his mane. Then I went in with my coloured pencils. So I have a mix here. I have some Derwent pencils. Nothing special, nothing like colour soft. It's just stuff I had from when I did my GCSE art. Um, and then I have these, they're not Prismacolor, they're Charismacolor by Beryl, um, which I was given uh, probably last year, I think it was, or the year before. So I was just using these um, just to add the detail. So I'm just using a black here to create all the really, really dark areas. And I really liked how, because this uh, mixed media paper has a bit of texture to it, when I'm adding the pencil, it's, it's not very smooth lines, they're very rough, as you can see. And so I really, really liked it. So it kind of made it look more furry than um, it probably would have if it was on smoother paper, which I really liked. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, that's what I'm doing for the rest of this video. Is just adding detail. I was using blacks, um, kind of terracotta colour for some of it. Do you know to add that kind of um, orangey red slash brown colour, and then. Um, I used just basically those two colours and a bit of a burnt umber colour just to create the darker areas as an intersection. Um, yeah, I'll chime back in when there's something more to say.
Now, what I will say is the reference photo, the eye you're seeing on the left here, that's um, kind of away from the foreground, that in the reference photo is just black, like it's even darker than that, and there's barely any kind of resemblance to an eye socket or that side of the face at all, it's just black, like it's it's not, it's not even there. So when, if I was doing that and I did that exactly like that, it just wouldn't look right. As you can see, even with me taking some of that darkness out, it doesn't look right. So you'll see me in a minute, this is me using a jelly roll pen by the way, just to add highlights where there's fur and add the um, whiskers in. But you'll see me in a second just use that jelly roll just to hint at an eyeball, there you go, hint at an eyeball there and it just adds something a bit different to it and even though it's not exactly like the reference photo it, it, is, it looks more realistic in my copy than it would if I copied it exactly, if you know what I mean. So yeah, um, I did notice that after a little while of me adding all that white it just didn't look very realistic so there's a, quite a lot of parts where I will go over that white and just dumb them down a little bit just to kind of soften them and again make it look a little bit more realistic whilst also keeping this traditional art look I don't want it to be so realistic that you can't tell whether it's a piece of art or anything which you know is, is difficult to do anyway which I don't think I could ever do but this is how, what I was going for and in the end I really enjoyed the outcome so I hope you do too um, and tell me if you like this and I'll do a couple more things like this I like doing quick speed paints um, yeah so tell me what you think in the comments below and if you do like it please give me a thumbs up so I, I know and um, yeah I hope to see you in my next videos so thank you for watching bye